Hello from the Axle Manufacturer Gigant in Dinklage. I will show you how to change the stabilization bellow, direction bar and locking unit on a self-steering axle. Once we have secured the vehicle against rolling away, it is important to observe the general safety regulations. Regardless of whether we replace the stabilization bellow or the locking cylinder, it is important to ensure that there is no compressed air in the system. To to remove the stabilization bellow, we recommend first removing the air connection, lock nuts on the left and right and the locking bolt. Then we can squeeze the bellows together and take it out downwards. If the bearing surface is soiled, we clean it. If the bushing of the guide flanges is worn, it must be replaced with a new one. Now the stabilization bellow can be installed. When installing, ensure that the correct position of the air connection is observed. The bellow is now tightened with new lock nuts and tightened with the appropriate torque. The thread of the locking bolt is coated with Loctite 2701 thread locking adhesive and then tightened. If we want to replace the direction bar, we first need to replace the locking unit. To do so, we loosen the double nut in the locking block and the two lock nuts for the locking cylinder. Once we have removed the locking block, we can loosen the nuts on the eccentric bolts to the point where the thread is no longer visible. If the bolt cannot be pulled out easily, we use the plastic hammer to tap the nut and release the bolt from the guide. We left the nut on the thread so that we do not damage the thread when striking it. Once we have removed the direction bar, we check the Zilem blocks. If they are damaged or worn, we need to replace them with new ones. Now we can install the new direction bar. When installing the new direction bar, the eccentric bolt is inserted through the bracket and the conical washer that sits between the bracket and the direction bar with the larger opening facing upwards. The eccentric bolt is aligned with the arrow in the direction of travel. Before we can precisely adjust the toe-in on the axle, we first install the locking cylinder and the locking block.
Once we have tightened the locking cylinder on the correct torque, we apply pressure on it so that the position rod extends and we can mount the locking block without any problems. Before we can finally mount the locking block, we apply Loctite 2701 to the double nut from the inside and outside and screw it to the position rod and the locking block. To be able to accurately adjust the toe-in of the axle, we release the pressure from the locking cylinder so that the locking block can engage. When tightening the nuts of the eccentric bolts, it must be ensured that we do not twist the bolts and thereby alter the toe-in. The correct torques and the values of adjusting the toe-in can be found in our all-in-one service booklet. Once a leak test is carried out at the end, replacing the assemblies on a self-steering axle is complete.